All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Hell's Paradise episode seven. In the last episode, we finally had Sagadi's kind of realization or coming to on how to actually do her job. Uh, I'm really proud of her. She actually got past that mental rot of like killing people and thinking about whether she's actually in the right position. But of course, she is. It's what she's meant to do, and potentially she is the strongest of. Um, the the Yamada clan um even though she's ranked 12 just because the ranking's some bullshit anyway basically and two of the best are already dead so yeah uh it turns out as well Rokurokurota uh the giant who I said was basically a child is in fact the child apparently he is eight years old and just suffers extreme gigantism gigantism giantism giantism um, this is crazy. That's fucking wild. Um, but yeah, he got put out of his misery in a Demon Slayer fashion. And I'm looking forward to this episode. So, as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. This shit as well. How do I forget about this? This is a trap. Y'all need to go. Look at those eyes. Hell nah, dude. Bakugo, you better insta-kill these bitches. Do not trust them. No. It's a trap. Bakugo, don't give in. Are they dudes? Or can they just change their gender? Interesting. Who's this? Who the fuck is this? Just a little kid. Probably some freaky little kid. G fucking bright pink hair. Oh, Groot! Holy shit! What are you doing? Is it God in the kid? Yeah, it looks like it. Bro, snap this fucking thing. Are you some fire ninjutsu? <laughs> Do something for once. Y'all need to carry your weight. Kill this thing. It's a small fry as well. What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck is... Are you a slug? What is this? Um... Mapper? <laughs> oh! <laughs> holy shit! This kid's strong. Oh, she understands Japanese. Bro, you're about to catch. Oh, what the fuck is that? About to catch a god fist or something? Anybody but Gabi Mara would have been dusted right there. Bro, is she iron fist? What is this shit? Yeah. <laughs> he will fuck you up if you don't work with him. Oh, he used vine whip. Super effective. You don't want to mess with this boy. Oh, you're crying? Yeah? <laughs> oh, Sagidi. Cute. I don't know about that. I don't know if she's an ordinary child. I know Brooke's voice actor when I hear him. A bath. Yeah? That's all it took? I mean, it's better to make friends with the people on the island, or the things on the island, to be honest. If we can. Thousand years. Why does a tree need a bath? Oh, I guess there's a kid here. Oh, here comes the naked bath scene. Of course. Hell no. I'm not cheating on my goddamn wife. <laughs> I don't know, it feels like you're letting your guard down right now. Oh, she seems nice now. She's not giving out god fists. You're drooling over water? Wow. <laughs> this dude is hungry. Oh, 
You're just some kind of bodyguard? Um, Groot, are you going to answer us? Kotaku, like the island or the town that you're in? Ah, it exists and it exists here. Tan. Huh. Okay, sounds like we have a solid location then. Them? Is he talking about these people? Okay. Okay, it's made out of vines? What the fuck? I don't know if I want the elixir if it turns me into this. I was just hoping I'd be a normal guy with immortality. Last request? Oh, shit. I think he's telling the truth. I don't think he's fooling you. What the fuck are they doing with them? Where are you, where are you dropping them? Oh my god. All these people, bro. Is he gonna die? Wait, so the, the people that die turn into the tan, which creates the elixir. Well, you're a tree. I, I, I'd have thought that you would do that anyway. Yeah, him getting told off. <laughs> really letting a guard down. Hoko and Mei. So she's not a kid. Well, she is a kid. But she's immortal, probably. Well, you're probably going to meet them very soon, because they just fucked up Bakugo and brother. <laughs> God, this kid. Rinsing off his wounds, that's what he's here for. He doesn't care about a kid. Oh, she has a scar as well. A big scar. The Edo style bathhouse experience. Ash and chamomile oil cake. Oh, it's like shampoo and conditioner, I guess. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. Why are there talismans in the water? Oh, all these cute moments with his wife. I really hope he gets back to her. I really hope she's okay. You're like a cat, bro. For real, exactly what Sagadi said. I really, really hope he gets back to her. I want nothing more. I don't want any more girls trying to come on to this man. He is like a cat, that's what I said. Aww, fucking cute. <laughs> They're so freaking cute, man. Aww. A respectable thing to say. He's a respectable guy. I wonder if she really can't talk. She un she understands and hears everything they're saying. Right, so that was another good episode of Hell's Paradise, episode 7. Um, yeah, uh, it's very interesting now. We're learning more about the island. And the people of the island, we made some friends here. Well, we've also found the, the big bad of the island um, who do not take kindly to humans. Maybe we'll be able to change that. I don't know if we'll be able to kill them because they're freaking immortal. Bakugo and Bro have already tried and now they're in a hole. Um, but yeah, we met Groot and we met Iron Fist, aka Pink Haired Child. And um, yeah, interesting. We're going to see more and more creatures. We still got other convicts and the um 
God damn, I keep forgetting their name. The Yamada clan on the island as well. So when we're going to meet up with them, I'm not sure, but if, if we even will. But yeah, we got a good, good, good info now to head to the center of the island, thanks to Guru. And yeah, overall, a very good episode. Definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have an interesting day and peace out.